Well, we have gray skies and some wet roads here in the FM area. You're looking now at I-29 south at the South Dakota border at the Dakota Magic Casino. Traffic moving along just fine. Gray skies there as well. And some breezy conditions from the south and east. Right now at Hector, we have wind speeds that are upwards of 20 miles per hour at times. And right now at 13 miles per hour, 24, your temperature feels like a cool 12 degrees out there. But heading into the evening, that warmer air to our west is on its way. Mid-20s, Jamestown Valley City. A lot of teens north of Highway 2 and in northeast parts of South, uh, excuse me, Minnesota as we head into the evening hours. Here's a look at the satellite and it's not picking up all the cloudiness across our area. We have some low clouds as a result of the warmer air pushing in a few flurries in northern Minnesota out toward the Arrowhead and we could once again have some fog developing in our area as we go through the evening. Nationally speaking, travel pretty quiet until you get to the west coast. Some big time rain heading towards uh, the west coast and that uh, will not necessarily help things with the uh, fire scars out in California and some snow taking place in and around the Great Lakes as often is the case this time of the year. So we head through the uh, overnight hours tonight. Temperatures stay at or about where they are right now. Fairly steady. We could have fog and some areas of drizzle. So watch for those slippery roads overnight and first thing in the morning with temperatures below zero, you'll have your typical slippery spots. So take it slow and arrive safe on your Thanksgiving day. Heading toward the midday hours, the southeast flow continues and increases across the region. A few areas with gusts around 20 miles per hour. Temperatures ramping up and maybe even some sun out in our western counties. We'll see 30s for many and a slight chance of even a 40 degree reading or two before the day is over. More clouds for your evening travel home if you're doing so the night of Thanksgiving. For Fargo, this is what you can expect on your Thanksgiving day. Morning travel, slippery. Temperatures below freezing. We do ramp up to just above freezing, 35 to 40 degrees for the afternoon. For the travel, if you continue this weekend, it looks like there'll be some Friday rain through Minnesota, but quiet in the Dakotas. A storm system develops in the Rockies as we head toward the weekend. That's going to release out into the central plains. It will affect southern South Dakota, Nebraska on Saturday and Sunday. As the system travels through Omaha and portions of Iowa, it will contain some significant snow potential and wind. So be advised of that central plains storm system. It should stay well south of the FM area, although we can't rule out some much colder air and a few flakes along the way. Hey, it's uh, Talking Turkey here. These two are pets in Colfax. Thanks, Tom, for sharing your dandy birds there. Here's a look at what we expect for the Fargo area. For Friday, temperatures drop off into the upper 30s out there. We stay cloudy, but as far as travel conditions go, pretty good. We get much colder. We'll be in the 20s Saturday and Sunday. Can't rule out some light snow, so watch for that. Next week, it looks mighty chilly with temperatures in the teens in the afternoon, Monday and Tuesday, maybe 20s and a few flakes on Wednesday. So travel here in the upper Midwest, not so bad, but mm -hmm. if you're heading down to the Central Plains, keep your eyes on the forecast down there. All right, thank you so much. Hutch. You bet.